Million Bells were the very first Calabrakoa series on the market. And you could consider Suntory breeder Yasuyuki Mirakami, the father of all Calabrakoas, for commercial production. These versatile plants are well suited to hanging baskets, patio containers, window boxes, and landscapes. Starting out with just a few colors, today Million Bell spans red, blues, oranges, and yellows, and splashy patterns like crackling fire and terracotta. The series now spans 12 mounding types, five trailing, and the new bouquets for compact, high-density production. Once cuttings are rooted and established, liners can be given a pinch to encourage a bushy habit. This is usually done around three to four weeks after sticking. If this is not done by your young plant supplier, it should be done at potting or soon afterwards. As the crop grows, it may require pinching to encourage the right habit and breaks to produce bushy, spreading plants. Start plants warm at 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit for the first couple of weeks to enhance root development. After two weeks, reduce temperatures to 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep pH at 5.2 to 6.0 to prevent nutritional problems and disease, including the Laviopsis root rot, which is persistent in media with lower pH. An acid feed with added iron helps. Preventative fungicide drenches are beneficial too. Avoid overwatering million bells to prevent root rot. Keep plants well ventilated. For growth regulation, Million Bells responds to sprays of B9 at 2,500 to 5,000 parts per million. Bonsai drenches can be used at 2 to 3 parts per million. For more information about Million Bells, visit suntorycollection.com.